Miami played a little zone at 22 against Clemson. Loose ball, saved. He got bumped. He's going to go to yep. the line. Foul on Shire. What a second half Lawson has had. Brilliant. I mean, I can't salute Tyler Hansbrough enough and the seniors for four years in a row. To put it, it's unbelievable to be able to come here to Cameron Indoor Stadium four consecutive years. It is a remarkable accomplishment. And now our most valuable player of the game brought to you by Sonic. Ty Lawson, 21 points. More importantly, 17 in the second half when North Carolina came from behind to regain the lead and then started to dominate. What were they down? By? Remember in the first half, they were down at least double down by eight. By eight, got up to eight, yep. Lawson has been, without a doubt, the star of stars. He's been a flat-out PT peer here tonight, a prime time performer. There are certain things certain players have to do. Lawson is ineffective if he doesn't penetrate. Ellington is ineffective Tap if he can shots. hit three-point shots. And they did that tonight. Smith battling inside, although Ellington really an ineffective scorer this evening. Well, second half he put on some points. There's Hansbrough right now, the rivalry start for him. Here's his first win on this floor. Tyler Hansbrough getting a chase. He's excited. He got a W at Cameron Indoor Stadium against his buddy J.J. Reddick. And then it was another opportunity as they won that with 83 76. Wow. Look at this here. Longest win streaks at Cameron. Look at Wake Forest up there. Wow. That's Mr. Duncan. Take a look at that. You got Ralph Sampson here on the bottom. I tell you, there's been some great players in this series, and some great matchups, and you and I have had the privilege to sit here. Haven't we? You know, the one thing, Duke, you look at their makeup of their team, if they're not making threes, they run into a dilemma because they have very little post presence. Where do they get exactly. any post presence in terms of scoring down in the box? Lawson has gone from ineffectual in this game to being the leading scorer with 23. Talk about balance. Green and Ellington both have 15. Hansborough and Thompson both have 14. Well, that's exactly what Roy Williams spoke about in today's local papers, that he wants balance. Well, my friend, did he get balanced hey, tonight? Yes, he did. That's as balanced as you can get when you look at that distribution of the point totals. A terrific second half performance by North Carolina. And Heather spoke about it, how Roy Williams was not pleased and made some adjustments at halftime to get them to challenge and play defense. And what was the quote? Heather said, they better start to sweat, Roy said. They better start to sweat. Something we don't have to worry about. No. This will be the eighth straight North Carolina win this year. In a conference, an ACC conference play. Eight in a row after losing the first two to BC and the Wake Forest. Wake Forest has got to regroup. They seem to be in Boy, Struggle okay. City right now. Follows on Ellington with 34.9 to go. The one thing North Carolina does not want to do is commit a foul right now. The ACC standings, North Carolina will go up one game on Duke. If this holds, Duke will fall into a four-way tie for second place with three losses, Clemson, FSU, and Virginia Tech. Well, you know, you can get back in first, but now they got a tough task when you look at North Duke. they got to go down to Chapel Hill and beat them in North Carolina, which they've done. In fact, when you look at this rivalry, five of the last six times the visiting team has won. Now, remember, when they play them again, do you think there'll be a little emotion? <laughs> it's going to be the last game for Tyler Hansbrough in terms of regular season at Chapel Hill. And it could be the last game in Chapel Hill for a whole slew of North Carolina guys. Exactly. But, I mean, you think there'll be some emotion, especially when you think yes, about sir. what Hansbrough's achieved. And by then, he could have passed J.J. Redick or could do it Absolutely. in that game as wow. the number one scorer of all time. But you know what happens so many times? There's so much emotion and so much passion that you lose a lot of energy. It just saps you. But then we see it down here with J.J. Redick's last game. Absolutely. Yeah, You're we right. saw it. He was so keyed up Absolutely. to play well in that game. Well, you're emotional, too. You're going to speak to the crowd after the game.
not sure what this discussion is about. They got a trip at Miami. I'm going to tell you something. Frank Hates Club has really played well. Lost that tough game here. We're up 16 and allowed it. They blew out. I mean, blew out Wake Forest by 27. That Virginia Tech game is going to be very yeah, interesting in a, Blacksburg. Seth Greenberg's got a pretty good club. Last year, I thought they got a raw deal. I thought they belonged in the NCAA tournament based on their record in the ACC during the regular season. I think this is a clock problem. Take a look at Duke's upcoming schedule. Boy, it is a program that's really struggling big time. St. John's not getting people in Madison Square Garden. They'll get them when they play Duke, though. That place will be packed. And he's rematch worked. against Wake Forest. And Roberts, the coach down there, has worked so hard. He's really doing everything the right way. I just can't seem to latch on to the super high school player down at St. John's. Hansborough hits the free throw. And they have made the adjustment. 34.6 to go in this game. Heels in control. Hands pro two for two. Such a great teammate, too. All the players love playing with him. He's all about the team. That's a guy out there, all ego. Lawson to make it 100. Why not? Why not Lawson? He's been the star. He gets the trophy tonight. Singler back the other way against Hansbro. Can't hit it, but will draw a foul. The last time the Blue Devils gave up 100 against UCLA in 2005. You know, we're talking about a team that leads the conference defensively. And here it is showing you the offensive pot potent attack that they have when you look at North Carolina. They come on a road. They come on a road. Does not matter? You know, Mike Krzyzewski said, if you're good, it doesn't matter where you play. If you're good. And that's really true. I mean, if you're really good, I mean, look at Michigan State, the way they're playing right now on the road. They're 6-0 in, the, in the Big Ten on the road. And the conference is so much better now than it's been. Playing without one of their stars, too. Raymar Morgan, Tom Izzo's club. We'll see them uh, uh, next Tuesday. I have a game down there with Purdue. Got a tough break playing without Robbie Hummel. Hansborough foul with 21-4 on the clock. This takes an eternity in the last minute or two. It must seem like an eternity to the Blue Devils. You talked about their defense. They played sensational defense in the first half. They didn't allow Lawson to penetrate. Ellington wasn't getting wide open shots, and Hansborough was not a factor. What else do you need to do against North Carolina? And that's why they were able to go in on a plus side. They made threes in the first half. They did everything that they had to do. If you're doing a scouting report and analyzing what they would have to do to beat North Carolina, Absolutely. they achieved that in the first half. Second half, that's why you play two halves. It's been all North Carolina. Dominant. You got to take your hat off Dominant. to the heels and the coaching staff. Absolutely. Roy Williams for the way they manipulate that bench tonight under some very warm circumstances down on the court. He saved his starters as many minutes as he could. Dominant. Both coaches fit their programs to perfection. Exactly. When you look at Mike Krzyzewski, he fits the profile of Duke. And Roy Williams fits that profile down in North Carolina. Two Four superstars. Years in a row. North Carolina has come to Durham. And Danny Green and Tyler Hansborough will leave as the first North Carolina players to come in here and win four in a row at Duke. The final score, North Carolina 101, Duke 87. Stay tuned for SportsCenter for more on our game. You can join us over on ESPN News. For Dick Vitale, this is Mike Patrick, along with Heather Cox. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.